Hello everyone, welcome, my name is Mr. Pestridge, welcome to another P3D video and today I'm going to show you how you can remove default P3D version 5 airport assets from um, a, an airport that you've installed if it hasn't uh, removed it itself. Uh, this is a video that uh, I've frequently been requested to make so I thought I'd just quickly make it. It's very easy to do. Um, you use a program called Airport um, Design Editor and as you can see here I'm in VLLB. Now this is a FSX to P3D version 1 to 4 airport. So in version 5 there's no exclusion file for the buildings and as you can see we've got default airport here jutting out of the custom made airport uh, from the developer and we want to get rid of this so um, like I said there's an add-on that you can use a development tool called um, airport design editor it's uh, I'll put the link to this website to this lo location in the description box below so you just head over to this website now the current production version is 1.78 which came out on 2019 which predated uh, version 5 so if we scroll down to the development version here and just click get and it will download it to wherever you want to stick it once it's downloaded just quickly run through the installer it'll say 1797475 so just right click install it um, you can put it anywhere you want at the end of the day but it will try and install into a folder called msfs um, fs design tools and then here it is it's the the 179 test version and again you can rename this folder if you want um, I've just left it at the default location it doesn't really matter so basically in here we have all the stuff we need um, airport design editor is what we're looking for here so right click run as admin um, obviously don't have your sim running when you do this so we're just going to shut down the sim now and you want to choose the v5 option click ok and then it will start up um, when it loads up here um, you'll be presented with this blue page just open up your airport so uh, open airport from BGL and you go and find the airport for the scenery so I've got mine installed I believe uh, here nope where have I put it here uh, here it is uh, Lung Pang and in the scenery folder you'll find the uh, airport and it'll usually have the ADE um, thing on it so click on that and open it and it will open the airport in the uh, in here so once you're here, all you have to do is um, create an exclusion. So basically add uh, the yellow box, tick the yellow box here, and then uh, this circle going around the uh, airport is the area in which the, the add-on basically is, is creating everything. So you can either go outside of that circumference and you'll be disabling some um, default stuff in the area or you can just stick to the inside which is what I'm going to do um, as close as possible um, that's probably a bit too it only you only need to be doing the airport itself because at the end of the day we just want the buildings so doing that now uh, this is going to exclude um, default stuff so if there is any default stuff you actually want to keep maybe taxi signs wind socks uh, library objects then just untick all and then tick the ones that you want to keep I want to get rid of everything so I want to click OK on that and that has now created a exclusion for everything within this box here that is default okay um, 
once we do that we basically want to go to compile airport now it says here ad has found one or more black box ob library objects these are objects that are not in the library object manager um, so click on yes on that uh, cancel this because we don't want to compile it just yet and go to lists and libraries used and it tells you the name of these library things which are all in the add-on so these are fine these are okay so we don't need to worry about that so what we can do is go to uh, file compile again and it'll now pop up with this so at the end of the day we need to save this um, exactly where uh, we want to so we need to save it inside the actual airport folder itself um, and it's going to overwrite the thing now one thing I do recommend right click cut this one out the original and make a backup copy of it and by clicking it you'll be giving it its proper name so just click save and now it will save it to the appropriate you know thing now it'll have the name that it needs to and then click compile now it says here ad has found a terrain bhl file for this project there are no terrain elements to be compiled generally an unneeded terrain bhl should be deleted this is to avoid unwanted terrain elements appearing at the airport so at the end of the day the cvx file that is in my um folder is from the third party developer so that's fine but if it did have conflicts with the surrounding area, I could just remove it and it would remove those conflicts. So I'm going to click yes on that. The airport is now compiled. It is now saved. We can now close out of this. Um, don't really want to save it because it's been compiled. And if I go to the location of the airport, it will be sitting there right where I need it to be. Um, so no click off that and we're going to restart the sim now and that's it back in the simulator you can see that the the default buildings have gone all the default stuff that um was at this airport is now been removed so it, it literally is that simple you know just pop in the bgl folder file sorry for the airport um, draw a exclusion around the assets that you actually want and you can hand pick assets as well you don't have to choose everything you can actually keep if you want the fuel pump or maybe a building or maybe the wind socks and um, basically compile it and if it comes up with an error just go to you know lists library um, assets and it will then you'll you'll know which ones it's talking about um, and then just compile it and it's all done it's as easy as that and this works in p3d version 5 i don't know if it works in version 6 but uh, it's very easy to remove um, third part uh, sorry default buildings if the add-on that you've got isn't made for version 5 and hasn't come with an exclusion for it um, it's very easy to do that yourself um, the benefit of doing this is that if you're loading in the default airport and the third party airport that can really harm your frame rate so um it can it's loading in double the assets so this will actually help performance at airports um where you've got default stuff all over the place um it will no longer load that stuff in now there is an, a bit of an exclusion file created and it's done and that's it guys thank you very much um if you've got any questions put them in the comments down below uh, if there's anything you need me to run through with this uh, ade tool let me know in the comments below and i'll uh, make a video for that don't forget, I run a com giveaway competition every month on my channel. Uh, 50 euros of flight sim vouchers can be won from Sim Market for flight sim add-ons. All you have to do to be with a chance to win is be a subscriber on my channel and leave a comment down below in any one of my P3D videos. And when I go live at the end of the month, I choose the winner. Thank you so much for watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.